turkey and ducks and geese. Um, so we've worked with them um, to provide their products. There's a farm out in Sherman who grows shiitake mushrooms, and we work with them. Um, we really, what I'm trying to do is really network with the other farmers and kind of help us all get together and support each other and provide their products to other people. So when you go to the Chautauqua Eats locally grown website, um, we're, we're able to put other farms' products on there. So you'll find, well not this week, but eventually you will find Margaret's chickens and turkeys, uh, as well as my produce. You'll find hopefully eventually the mushrooms from from, sure. from Shorman. Um, you'll find the fruit from Avery Lakers. Avery Lakers on there. What is that address? It's www. Sorry, what is that? That locally grown dot net, and it's it's a software that somebody developed. They actually use it for farmers markets across the country. Um, it's it's really nice software though, and so that's what we're using for our, our online order system. Our actual farm website is www.fruitsandwingsfamilyfarm.com. Like I said, run for the as well. But. Hopefully, this site will give you more information about about orders. Um, we do. If anybody ever did want to order, um, we do we do bring orders up to the Fredoni Farmers Market on Saturdays, so you have to come all the way up to Cherry Creek. Um, Did I hear you correctly? We do. We bring produce to the market. We don't stay. We grab it off with our friends who are making farms at their table. Because I can't take all the four kids to the market and have a happy day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Interesting. But yes, yes. <laughs> How much is your CSA share? It's, it's like, oh, you guys missed that part. We, ch we changed it this year because we have four foster kids now. And instead of paying the 400 bucks up front, what we do is this online order system. You can try it twice. You order what you want, when you want, and pay for it when you pick it up. And our third order, it's going to add on a $35 membership fee for the year. So the membership fee is $35 plus whatever you order. So, does that make sense? So you only pay for what you order, and the $35. You may have already answered this too, but um, do you feel like demand is where you want it to be? Like, do you think you're selling as much as you are growing? Uh, not this year, um, but this year is kind of crazy, <laughs> um, just with our family situation. I think it will grow, and I think this new way of doing, uh, this new type of CSA, um, when I surveyed our, our shareholders last year, they really liked the idea, and I know a lot of people in the area can't afford to pay 400 bucks up front, um, and also they don't like the kohlrabi, they don't like the garlic skates, they don't like the weird stuff that we grow. Um, so I think that this is kind of a good middle ground for us. Um, like it, this year's going to be tough, but I think it'll grow over. You know, by next year we should be fine. Um, it's a little different. I think people understand it better. CSA. Is a, I like the CSA concept a lot. Um, I like the part about the community supporting the farmer, the farmer supporting the community, and I think we can still do that. Um, I think we just need to do it in a different way. The problem, the problem I found with CSA is that people around here just don't understand. That really, um, it's not economically feasible for a lot of people, um, and a lot of people are just kind of. Our diet is very different compared to a lot of other, you know, a lot of areas in the country. We're very meat based, um, whereas other parts of the country are, you know, thrilled to have plates of greens, you know, 24/7. Um, our area is not like that, and I think I think this new system will allow people to have more choice. I think it will allow them to have more flexibility in their economic situation. Um, we'll be able to accept food stamps if I get that rolling again. Um, whereas for the, for the traditional CSA, you're, you're legally not allowed to accept food stamps. Um, yeah. Um, I recently was reading this book by Joel Furman. Okay. And I don't know if it's a type of nutritional uh, program. But he does say that harm and good health Yes, absolutely. And that they're nutritionally dense. So this would be a counter for us for the potato yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, that's out there. Yeah. That uh, you can eat that twice a day, plus these other things that he adds. And I was just reading it like a yep. day or two ago. And I said, well, that's a pretty simple fix for a lot of health it issues. Is. 
It is kale and broccoli, especially, are one of the best things you can eat for a living. Um, I'm trying to tell my husband that, but. <laughs> but I'm talking about nutritionally dense. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's like a new word out there for a lot of people that you get more bang for your buck and you can possibly get rid of your doctor, yeah, which is a really nice yeah. thought. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I'll leave back on that one because I um, really appreciate the value of all the antioxidants that we have in vegetables, especially organic. Um, the problem that some people in our country have who are medication for various illnesses, such as Coumadin. My dad, yeah, my dad takes the, that blood thinner, and unfortunately, he can't have the K vitamins, so the dark leafy greens he can't have. And it would be nicer if our doctors would encourage their patients to have a healthier diet and have a more nutritionist diet exercise so that they don't have to be on so many medications but the problem is the pharmaceuticals the HMOs and the doctors are all the boots and they're not in the business to heal they're in the business to treat symptoms so when people have family members that are more educated with organic foods they can help their family members out and that's what I try to do with my parents but um, it is disconcerting that our society still is trying to be a one pill wonder society instead of going back to the basics, which is why I appreciate farmers because my dad's a great farmer. That's what's keeping him alive. He tends to Mother Earth, he tends to the grapes, he's out in the sun, he's out in the wind, the rain, the snow, with a reason. But he's working his body, exercising and taking care of the earth. And nowadays, people are so um, busy in offices, on computers. It's a different lifestyle. And sometimes that goes hand in hand with not eating properly. There's a lot of fast food consumption, a lot of consumption of high fructose corn syrup, and all these other family chemicals which are bad for our system. So we're lucky that we can get to local farmers and eat locally and organically as opposed to some other countries or other um, places like I know in Puerto Rico, um, I do my relatives eat canned vegetables. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't, they don't have a farm. And it's sad because they've got a beautiful uh, big backyard, enough property where they can grow greens, but they're accustomed to eating the greens from their hands. Well, I think, I think that's definitely true, but I think there's also a lot of hope and a lot of, um, there, there have been some changes. Like if you ever, I don't go to McDonald's, but if you ever go to McDonald's or watch your commercials, you see they have things besides hamburgers and french fries. They have their salads now, they have their fruit smoothies. Um, people are conscious of what they're eating. You know, at least some people are. And there's there's not organic food. salads. No, there's not. There's not. But part of that is because McDonald's won't pay for it. A lot of, a lot of, I guess I should talk about that for a minute. A lot of the cost of organic is because it is physical labor. I am out there physically weeding the weeds out of my lettuce. Uh, I am out there changing the water every day for my chickens. Um, there's no tractor dumping chemicals out to get rid of the weeds. You know, that's you can do a ton of, you know, 30 acres a day with a tractor. I can do maybe a quarter of an acre. The most. So that's that's why organic costs more. It's, it's, you're paying the farmers to do more work. Um, but but back to the the greens and things. Um, there, there's definitely like the, the US US uh, the meal meal on your plate. What's that? The food pyramid changes. Now it's my plate. Oh yeah. And you can yeah. see they've added more greens and more vegetables to that, and they've decreased the amount of meat and the oils and the you know, all the fats. Um, the Obama, or not the Obama, Obama, the school, the school lunch, the federally funded school lunch system is changing, where they have to have much more healthier choices starting next year. Um, there's, there's stuff, there's a whole lot of things on horizon where people are, whether they're like or not, going to be eating healthier if they're on the federal system. Um, but I think people are more conscious. At least, at least there's a, a significant number of people conscious enough to start demanding that, and you can see the market response to that. Um, I don't have a hard time selling. I'm anticipating. That's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> okay.